Bye, Navaria. That was rough. Oh, God. Oh, there's a cat. Um, let's see here. Arbitrary is not. Where's Kepler? There it is. Kepler Verge. Alright, let's see. On the list. Newton. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're leaving Novaria. We gotta <coughs> watch as we fly through the snow. <laughs> Whatcha? Message coming in. Oh, God. Patching it through. Yes. I've received some information I thought you'd want to see, Commander. Mm -hmm. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. Yeah, that does sound like a cover-up. Former scientists. Yeah. Sounds like someone has a project they'd like to keep secret. We found a connection <laughs> between the scientists and you. They all worked on a classified project several years ago on a coup. Oh, shit. A coup. I lost my whole unit there. You're saying that our scientists were involved? I can't get any information on what they were working on. The project records were sealed. Commander, Shepard, what you do with this is up to you. I just thought you'd want to know. Thanks, Hackett. There was Hackett. one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth fleet out. Hackett looking out for us. Look at that. Nice. Glen Corey. Glen Corey? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Famously claimed by the eccentric bullish billionaire Kuman Shoal, he claims that a vision of a higher being told him to seek on Glencore the lost crypts of beings of light. These entities were supposedly created at the dawn of time to protect organic life from synthetic machine devils. Shoal has been excavating on Glencore's toxic surface for two decades at great expense. No government has valued the world enough to evict his small army of mercenaries. Everyone's like, Ugh. just let the bulls do whatever he wants. Hey, Matriarch Dillanaga's writings. Seismos. Seismos. <laughs> Seismos. Ooh, shiny. Ice dwarf Pretty. world. Its surface composed almost entirely of frozen water. Normally a planetoid this small would not rate inclusion on a system's charts, but says Moses, unusually large and beautiful ring of ice crystals has made it a popular subject for visual art artists. Cool. So the nerds go there and draw pictures. <laughs> right. The ring is the result of a glancing equatorial impact, which left a large trench and threw a great deal of melted water into the atmosphere. The rings are a temporary feature, which will completely decay in a few thousand years. Yeah, just just a few. Oh, just a few. We'd well, better so hurry up and check them out. <laughs> Junkro. Uh, Junkro is a hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of chlorine and sodium in its upper atmosphere. Like Uranus of the solar system, it is tipped on its side. It's North Pole facing the star Newton. Got some hydrogen out of that. Alright. To Antaram with us. It's our landable. Nice. Um, through Antaram's surface, it, oh, though Antaram's surface is uncomfortably hot. It's nitrogen, oxygen, atmosphere, and abundant shallow seas make it an ideal candidate for habitation by most known species. Unfortunately, the habit of the moon of Thonal has been slowly decaying since the system coalesced. Uh -oh. Its proximity is, based, is beginning to have tidal effects, and its dynamo-like revolution through Antaram's Ant magnetic field is generating increasing powerful electrical storms. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> while some have suggested emplacement of mass effect of uh, while some have suggested emplacement of mass effect drives in an attempt to lighten the moon and correct its orbit, the scale of such a project, tens of thousands of drives, costing costing enough to bankrupt the governments of all the citadel races make it a pipe dream. Hmm. A multiracial effort is underway to 
catalog and preserve the unique genetic diversity of Antaram's vibrant young biosphere. Exogenicorp and Hey Haven? Yuan. Oh, Hey Yuan. Hey. I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, g- genomics. Genomics. Um, represent the alliance's share of the effort. Let's go. Interesting. Mm. So I think we I think we can take whoever we want on this one. I think. Where my where my balls? I mean, it's just a, the cat. The cat saw my little sticky note fly up in the air and was like, huh, 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 huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. No, we can take whoever we want. Who would you like to take? Let's uh. Let's take. Let's take. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's take Rex and uh, Tali. Yee. Yeah. Rex is like, y'all got to have all the fun in the Mako last time. Bring, bring yeah, right, me. Exactly. Let's go. Bring me aboard. All right, let's see here. All right, map. All right, we're here. There's an anomaly. Debris and underground facility. All right. Ooh, woo! There's like, Whoa. there's like spores. Amazing. There. All right, where are we going? This way. Well, hello. Cat is crunching the paper. <laughs> Cat is like, what's this? Yeah. Back. Wow, plot, plot happened. So Liara's mom died. It it kind of sucked. We we uh, yeah, bummer. It sounded really terrible, and she like wouldn't let us save her because she was like, no, I'll never be myself again. And this indoctrination is really powerful. Sounds absolutely horrid. Yeah. What are those little bugs? Those little bugs. Hello, bugs. Yeah. Look at these bugs. <gasps> oh wow, they're just they're friends. It's the bugs. They don't seem to care. Hello. Oh. I'm in the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. They don't care. Um, like, well, that's nice that they giant are fleas or nice. something. I don't know. Like, they're real weird. They're really gross. But they're, they're gross, but friendly. Turian corpse. But friendly. That's nice, at least. Oh. Meow, 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 meow. Turian insignia recovered. Unclear what happened to this Turian. He had an ancient paper book with the Bostra outpost insignia printed on the cover. So he's been here a while. Gosh, can you imagine, like, because some of these places where we're going... Oh, there's another corpse. Dang. Um, can you imagine, like, so, you know, something terrible happens to you out on one of these planets. And some of these places' atmospheres are designed so that I mean, you will, like, never decay. Oh, right. You know, you'll just be there forever, possibly mummified. Right. And, crazy. like, yeah, you could just be there for fucking millennia, and then some weirdo with a big truck comes through and is like, Hey, I, I like <laughs> your you book. Got? Thank yeah. you. What? Did you just... Whoa. Mako, please. What was that? What was that? Why aren't you turning? Turn, 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 turn. This way, this way, this way, this way. <laughs> it's like, no. Turn camera more. Okay, yeah, but the like, ugly bugs reminded me. Um, the ugly bugs at the store. Yeah, at the uh, the store today with my mom. We were waiting, and this lady had her dog with her. Uh huh. And um, it was like one of those chihuahuas that's mostly hairless, but like has a mohawk somehow. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, so cute, you know. And my mom, you know, sweet Christian lady that she is, she turns to me and she's like. Isn't that nice that God has a sense of humor? <laughs> and I was like, that's so, like, that's that's cute, it's funny, but, like, how depressing that, like, the, the thought that, like, God made you as a joke. As a joke. Like, you know, for, for people oh, to laugh oh, at. Like, oh, oh. I do have a sense of humor. I made you motherfucker ugly, you know? Like, <laughs> Ooh, geez. look at the lightning storms. Mm-hmm. Just let me have it. Thank you. I want to look at the lightning storms. Ooh. Neat. 
It's not often that, like, on the top of these things, we actually get, like, a real wide, flat, like, so there's the actual sun, the star. Wow. And yeah, there's the moon amazing. that's fucking everything up. And, uh, there's the secret facility. Aha. Uh -huh. Underground facility? Something's shooting at us. What's shooting at us? Is it Mercs? What's going on? Mako, please. This way. This <sighs> way, Mako. They're like, he's driving crazy! <laughs> Who's still shooting? Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Ooh. Oh, there's some rocks down there. Well, we'll deal with that when we come out. I'm on my way. All right. Let's head into the building. Oh, shit. Look at that. We're getting nines. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Getting nines. Ooh, aid station. I don't remember if I need any, but we'll take it. Wow. So that's a merc. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of mercs. Man, our barrier is so good. It, it, it took that long to go away. Wow. Amazing. Hell yeah. Dang, we cleaned up. Nice. Alright, let's run around, look for crates and such. Meow. That was a lot of marks. What y'all doing in here? Oh, I mashed through it. That was the message of, you've got a lot of shit. You should probably sell some. <laughs> here we go. Right. You currently have 255 items. You are nearing the 300 item limit. It used to be like half that. Oh, wow. They increased it. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's I know it's to the right. We're go. Oh, there's no light on that door. Can't even go that way. All right. Uh, nah, 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 nah. We don't know what we're going to see. I don't know what's beyond this door. Stay back. I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please. He's a madman. Mr. Tomb. A madman. <laughs> madman. Shut up. You don't get to lie. You don't. Shepard? My god. Shepard, is that you? Tombs? But you died! Tombs? <laughs> but you were on a coos. I, I saw the Thresher mob pull you under. They took me, Shepard. The scientists. You can't prove any of this. This man is delusional. See, they were running tests on the Thresher maws. They let those things hit us just to watch and study. That's fucked. I woke up, up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. Tombs, I didn't see anybody. If I'd seen you, I would have come back for you, I swear. You can't believe Tombs. He doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial. But Shepard was at a coos. That's all the proof she needs. Damn right, Rex. This man deserves right? to die, Shepard. For you, for me, for everyone else in the unit. Are you with me? <laughs> Let me do it. Wow. <laughs> so, you can just let him shoot him, or you can be all like, look, bro, this doesn't really bring anybody back. <laughs> That's what I would do. You're better than this, Tombs. 
You're not like them. Don't tell me who I am. You got away with a few scratches and a scary reputation. The rest of the unit died, and I was tortured for years, Shepard. You can't judge me. You don't have the right. You're right. Tombs, if I could have helped you on a coos, I would have. All I can do is help now. Let me. <sighs> okay. I'm no murderer. Except you are. You killed the other ones, but that's okay. They couldn't hey, hate right. me one. Just as long as he goes to trial. Maybe the screaming will stop now. I don't know. <laughs> I do. It does. I mean, this is this is Damn. the overly truthful, probably answer. Right. Right. <laughs> you did a good job. It's not really correct. For this part of your journey is over. Those bastards can't hurt you anymore. Joker, tell the Fifth Fleet we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. Toom stares morosely at the floor, lost in his memories. You give the scientist a shove towards the door. Your mission is complete. The Alliance Courts will take it from here. Nice. Because it isn't clear how black ops this whole thing was that happened on a coos. But yeah, uh, it was the Alliance, though. The Alliance scientists let the Threshmolas. That's so fucked up. Like, hit your unit. Mm -hmm. That's horrible. So you, so like that mission happens no matter what, but you have <laughs> special interaction with tombs if you're a soul survivor. Ah, oh, right. Right, right, right. I forgot that you could, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of like, I think, I think if you, if you're a war hero, that um, Elias guy who like locked us in with the bomb, I think uh -huh. he might have a couple of special words for you because you were at the Skillian Blitz. Oh, interesting. Give me that. All right. All right, everybody. Back in the car. <laughs> Back to the car. Um, I think we're good. Because we're not done with the Kepler Verge. But we are done with Newton. Okay. Message Thanks. coming in. Patching it through. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. I'm glad to see you were able to take Dr. Wayne in alive. Now we can put him on trial and get some answers. Corporal Tomb seems to have found some closure. Hopefully with therapy, he'll have a normal life again someday. I hope I so. I hope this helped you find some yeah. peace, Commander. Thank you. Fifth lead out. Thank you for letting us know about it, Hackett. You're a real one. All right. Ah, there it is. Herschel. I guess all of the places here are named after scientists. Ah, right. In the Kepler bird. <laughs> all right. Tungle. Tungle. <laughs> There's. Th it is a mineral mineralogical treasure trove, and many corporations are lobbying for mining rights. Tungle just saying they're like I twice as big as Earth. I have lots of stuff. Hello. All <laughs> right. So basic. Klobaka. <laughs> <laughs> not much going on. Nope, just not much going on. I'm like looking at all. And yeah, seven degrees Celsius. Yeah. No, nope. not much going on. Oh, we'll come back to you. Klugen. Also, not much going on. <laughs> Wait, it has nearly a hundred moons. That's a lot. Matol. Several attempts to chart Matol have been made, but none have been successful. By normal standards, a small rock planet, Matol has a dense atmosphere composed of carbon dioxide and argon, with a surprising amount of water vapor. Fogs and rain are common. I wish we'd go here. I want to go to Silent Hill Planet. <laughs> right? <laughs> Uh, Matola is pleasant enough to be considered a terraforming prospect, though its low mass and high radiation uh, of the energetic blue star Herschel place it fairly far down the list. Fair enough. All right, let's. Oh, yep, there it is. Give me that asteroid. It's a metal asteroid. We got platinum. Meow. Meow. Ooh. Was that just. Adele? Okay, I was just... ship. 
Okay. Let's check out what the ship's... What is the ship? Ooh, it's landable. Okay. R read this. Okay. <clears throat> um, the... Mm, the Fidele. Fidele? The Fidel? Fidel? I don't know. The Fidel is a Kowloon class modular conveyor of human design. In addition to the standard cargo bay, the hull has several biological research modules attached. Registry private owner Dr. R. Hart. So it's been a little while? Dr. Hart is the last known name of that guy that Garrus is looking for. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So we're definitely so we better take bring him. Garrus, and then we, I think we can take whoever else. Uh, let's, uh, you know, uh, like, how can I not bring Rex? You know? <laughs> Heck yeah. We're just, I know that they're up on steps, but it's still like <laughs> me and the boys. Right? <laughs> let's go, guys. I see red dots. That's a test subject. Looks like Salion. Gross. Super gross. Somewhere between Husk and Thorian Creeper. Right. Seems like. Oh god. Uh. I was just hanging out. Boom. He wasn't even aggro. He wasn't even, he was just like, no. Guys, no. Like, what's going on? I just woke up from my nap. <laughs> hey guys, what's for breakfast? Oh god! <laughs> Through the door. Alright. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Salion. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you <laughs> sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. <laughs> He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. Garrus. Garrus. We got him. It's okay. Right. Right. We'll take him in. Drop him off at the military. But we have him. We can't let him get away. Not again. If he dies, we'll never know what he's been up to or how he did it. We'll take him in, interrogate him, and he'll serve his time. I... Okay. You're right. You're a very lucky Soleri. You owe the commander your life. Oh, thank you so very much. <laughs> so he dies anyway. What was the point of that? <laughs> I know it feels that way because he went down real fast. I'll tell you what the point was. While I I agree in some cases, like how we're probably gonna deal with Saren, you should just just handle it yourself. I'll tell you. You can't predict how people will act, Garrus, but you can control how you'll respond. In the end, that's what really matters. Yeah. I don't think I ever met anyone like you, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. Saleon's medical equipment is stained with the blood of many species. Pale blue, violet, orange, and more than a few dark red. But his work has ended here. Time to head back to the Normandy. Mm. I like that line. It's like, it's like, it's like the ultimate moment. It's like, it's the click for Garrus. It's if you give him that line of, look. You can be as hot headed as you want, but at the end of the day, it's all about how you react to other people. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll deal with it soon. Oh my god, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, don't worry. I'm gonna deal with it soon, I promise. I promise. <gasps> promise, promise. Well, we did it, Garrus. 
And while I agree it doesn't really feel all that satisfying to just like drop him off to go to prison. Honestly, we we need to we need to know what he's been up to. Like he's been gone for a while. What the fuck has he been doing? Right. He was he started out just doing organs. Like why do we have entire big old test subject clones running around? True. Hey, we did it. I don't, I don't think Garrus has another conversation necessarily, but we'll go talk to him just in case. Since we just did his thingamabobber, he might. I can't remember. I feel like the thank you conversation is his last conversation, like full conversation. Let's see. We'll see. Cool. Garrus, did you have anything else? Command. Oh, I no, yeah. To Told you. Yeah. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you've told. There we go. About not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal. About finding the best way through, not just the fastest. And I've been thinking about Dr. Salio, too. I convinced myself that he deserved to die, but then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. Good. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. <laughs> hey, Rick was interested. We've never spoken to you. Hey, Commander. <sighs> Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? <laughs> what have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. So that's th this is the whole reason we bought licenses in case we decided to come to the sky to buy things. Let's see what you've got. Oh, well. you bet, Commander. So like things. <laughs> look, wow, there's tens available to us. Shit. So like, yeah, there's all kinds of bonkers, strong stuff. I've been looking for this. Give me that. Increase our meta gel. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, but yeah, nice. you can um, you can buy all kinds of stuff from him. But I don't know. Most of the time, I end up just kind of forgetting and being like, I got it. It's cool. <sighs> this is the first time I've spent. I think this is the first run through I've spent money in a while. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, there are some pretty good things in the Spectre Requisition Office, ain't there? Hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Oh, there's stuff about Krogan biology. No. Oh. Um. So the the basic gist is um physically they they have uh like redundant nervous systems and stuff like they they feel pain but they it doesn't really affect them. Oh, they they can, they can go into this to a literal blood rays like they can berserk. Oh, that's, that's part crazy. of why they're so powerful. Like when you right. that's why when you down a krogan you can like see how fast like their health is regenerating cuz mm -hmm. They're just really strong, and they have like some some organs. They have like more than one of, in case oh, one gets destroyed. Um, they That's cool. store stuff in their humps, like water and nutrients. Oh, like that. Yeah, they actually have a hump. It's not just like armor. It's like there's actually a hump under there. That's um, cool. You know. Wait. Okay. So I have to ask mm -hmm. <laughs> because I'm disgusting. But also, so the redundant organ thing is a. Uh -huh. uh, Klingons as well. They also oh, really? have that. Mm -hmm. So, but we've taken it so far in the modern day uh -huh. that they're like, well, if they got redundant kidneys or what kidneys, if they got redundant livers, they got redundant whatever, then they got a redundant dick. <laughs> it's like actual canon. They actually put it in a Star Trek show. That's funny. To my yeah, knowledge, like, they still only have one one dick, but they do have four. Balls. I had to ask. They do oh, have interesting. Balls. Okay. That that was that huh. thing that Garrus was talking. I think it was Garrus was talking about. Like, that's forty thousand for a full set, and you have to you sit there and you do oh, the right. math, and you're like, so they have four balls. Oh uh, God. <laughs> I'm 
amazing. Yep. Wow. They have just a, they're, the place okay. where they the their native planet is pretty rough. So of course right. they evolved to be pretty pretty tough. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, rather, oh, okay. Rather than a nervous system, they have an electrically conductive second circulatory system. Mm. They can never be paralyzed. They might lose fluid, but it can be replaced by the body with time. It's they're wow. really intense. Yeah, the genophage. I don't know if it lists. Does it list the numbers in this version, or they did they not start listing numbers until the second game? Maybe. So I believe it's something like one in a thousand will carry to term. Wow. And, and survive. Right. Yeah. It's pretty intense. Wow. I was looking for... What was in here? Maybe it's... Hmm. I like how they have a separate thing for Turian religion. They, they're very... They, have, they do believe in spirits. But they don't necessarily have, like, gods. Okay. Yeah. Absolute freedom of religion and can practice whatever appeals to them as long as it doesn't impede their ability to perform their duties. That's nice. So, uh, yeah, that's not interesting. Ships. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. I was looking to see if they added a thing. Everything's on the Protheans. I thought they might have a thing on the. Um. So yeah, there we go. Rachni. Extinct. The Rachni once threatened every species in Citadel space. Over 2,000 years ago, explorers foolishly opened a mass relay to a previously unknown system. Oops. And encountered something never seen before or since. A species of spacefaring insects guided by a hive mind intelligence. Unfortunately, the Rachni were not peaceful. And the galaxy was plunged into a series of conflicts known as the Rachni Wars. Attempts to negotiate were futile as it was impossible to make contact with the hive queens that guided the race from beneath the surface of their toxic home world. The emergence of the Krogan ended the Rachni Wars. Bred to survive the harshest environments, the Krogan were able to strike at the queens in their lairs and reclaim conquered council worlds. But when Krogan fleets pressed them back to their home world, the Rachni refused to surrender, and the Krogan eradicated them from the galaxy. Wow completely until somebody found an egg on a fucking ship all right onward to the next system um I keep skipping this one I know we've done this one and we've done that one so let's 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 get Argos row okay Hadra Varmalus. <laughs> Amazing. Scorching hot. Primitive life. Not much going on. Met ghosts. Message coming in. Oh. Patching it through. The general distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Argos. Communications failing. <laughs> Life support and emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. Please hurry. Okay, well, we'll, we'll come back to that one. We'll come back to Metcos. Uh, Canrum! Small rocky world with a trace of atmosphere of methane and krypton. Its surface is mainly composed of magnesium and silicates with deposits of carbon. Canrum was the site of Warlord Shiagor's defeat by the Turian peacekeeping forces during the Krogan Rebellions. While this band was not especially powerful, Shiagor was a female warlord and one of the few remaining fertile fem females at that. She had, through viciousness and cunning, par uh, parlayed her unique value into a position of power. Krogan males competed for the right to join her band and lie with her. When Shiagor's oh. death was announced, yeah, she's badass, <laughs> was announced, vengeful male Krogan admirers near and far swore blood oaths against uh, the participating Turian crews. In the end, several thousand of the Turian participants were killed in open combat or through assassination. To this day, many Krogan proudly pro proclaim that they have the blood of Shiagor. Wow. She's badass. 
see, it looked up armless. It's over here. Sibba. <laughs> Saba? <laughs> Neptune light gas giant. Ain't much going on. Oh, 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 but there is a there is a survey. There is a survey. I got some gas. <laughs> All I can think, first, I, I, the, out of all things to pop in my mind, I just thought of um, fucking Coach and Left 4 Dead 2. Whole ass and get gas! Because there's, <laughs> there's a whole mode in that game where you're literally just getting gas canisters for like a generator oh, nice. and trying to like ex like survive increasing waves of, of zombies and stuff. Anyway, uh, let's see. They are. They are. They, they are. They <laughs> are. <laughs> What? Um, it was struck by an asteroid at least 12 kilometers in diameter in the last hundred years. The superheating caused by the impactor's atmosphere's passage created a large bank of vicious storms along the equatorial band. I like the pink. Is that a pink glow? Yeah, it's nice. Alright, All right, back to Metgos. Time to land. Level 2 heat hazard. Ooh. Uh, Metgos is a large terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Its hot surface is mainly composed of nickel with deposits of potassium and heavy metals. It is a mineralogical treasure trove with concentrated heavy elements constantly being brought to the surface by volcanic activity. Metgos is inhospitable and dangerous, and expeditions must be well prepared to survive any length of time. With its high mass, heat trapping clouds and constant volcanic venting, Metgos seems well on its way to becoming a Venusian uh, pressure cooker world. Hmm. So it's like Venus. Right, right. Got it. Venusian Veni Venusian. <laughs> right. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Uh, as long as we have Garrus or Tali with us, we should be good. Or even Caden, maybe. Um? No, can't be him. I need somebody with electronics. That's all. I just need somebody with electronics. Otherwise, we can take whoever we want. Um, let's just take, um, Tali and Liara. Yeah. Well, let's go. Oh, yeah. And before... <laughs> Before it yells at me anymore. Ba boom, kaboosh. Woo, Rocky. Um, wow, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We were, I was kind of, I was just kind of real quick. You know, you know, anything that's not a nine, since we're getting nines and tens. Goodbye, goodbye. Turned it into Omni Gel. Thank you. That'll help clear some of this. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, yep, yep. I don't need this. Um, I do need... No, my Sokolov is the bestest. How about... Ooh. Okay, the heat sink's not as good on the Karpov, but... I actually usually take more careful shots with this, so... Let's try it. Okay, everything below? Let's see. Yep. Which one did I just take off? Wow, you guys are not great. Goodbye. Crawler's good. Okay. Meow. 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 Very loud clickies. Okay. Because I've got this, this like generic switch controller that I've barely used, so all the clicks are like kunk, 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 kunk. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> Cats. No. Be nice to each other. All right. Ooh, I want that. I'm not really mm -hmm. doing as much uh, stuff though. So maybe we'll just take a Unity app nine. And we'll give that to somebody else. Light armor. Well, we'll hang on to it. Ooh! This is better. Ooh, we get to match! 
Ooh, that's nice. Heck yeah. Love that. Let's go. All right. Great. That should help. It's not perfect. We'll probably hit hit up against stuff again soon. Oh, whoop. map. Um. Go this way. Yeah, let's go around this. Ooh, everything's hot. The floor is lava. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Everything is lava. Yeah. Up we go. It's so funny, the cats actually like they were about to get into another row and I was like, do no, fucking no. not. And then, yeah. and then and then when I like pushed them away from each other, they just kind of pretended they're like, it's, it's, we weren't doing anything, immediately start grooming. It wasn't, I, mm. didn't, I didn't do Aww. nothing. Can you tell me <laughs> I'm just a baby. I'm just a baby, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to say about it. Turian Insignia, very old letter with the Gothis colony insignia. Text is indecipherable. Mm. Who the fuck knows what it says? Yep. Um, now for debris. Tools of debris. This is also debris. Oh, just technically. Mm. I can't seem to turn the, the Mako. Uh, Shepard. All right, there we go. Yeah. Wee hee! <laughs> I couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. The opportunity. Yeah. I'm just I'm just imagining the the guys in charge of getting the textures done for this planet, and them being like, "We got a lot of brown." Yeah. Right. <laughs> they told us we could use orange. That's uh, that's about it. No, that's too much orange. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that was not on purpose. That one was not. That was not me. <laughs> this way. This way, I say. Let's go. Towards the debris. This way. Look at that pokey rock over there. Oh, I see it. I see it. There's a probe. There's a space probe. Wee. Okay. Let me out. Let me. There we go. Oh, yep. It finally stopped telling me. So that means I got it low enough. Woo. All right. Next up. Transponder signal. The distress call. Get up. There we go. <sighs> I wish there was more like, um, I wish they could have done like a heat effect, but I guess that might like, I don't know. Fuck with the, like, how nice things look. I don't know. Right. I know, like, I know it's not like a super fancy, super nice texture. This is a very rocky, uninteresting kind of zone, but it might have helped to, like, at least in the distance, maybe have like a heat effect going or something. I don't know. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be neato. All right, let's see if we can get these rocks. It would definitely, like, yeah, add some, like, actual vibes of, like, of Yeah, it's like, it's a pressure cooker world, and we're just like, oh, right. it's a little bit warm. Yeah. It's a little bit warm. Oh, there it is. I was like, where is this? It blends in. Big surprise. Ugh. I got thorium. All right. This transponder signal was for a ship that was going down. There is the wreckage. I do not see any survivors there. Careful, Shepard. I've got a bad feeling about this. That's not a ship. Yeah. It's a trap. Uh-oh. Oh no. Incoming. <laughs> I didn't even know Backed into that guy. 
was like, oh fuck. Overshooting my missiles. There we go. These drones that are floating around, they are dangerous. <laughs> Hope there's more armatures over there. Alright, it's too far away. Let's get rid of you. Whoa! Hello? Oh. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ah, there's mines, I see. Ew. I saw a thing that's an anti-vehicle mine. I overshot. No. Give me. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We done. We good. Is there even anything in this that I could steal? No. Okay. Well, we did it. <laughs> we got it. Oh my goodness. Map. Let's go. All right. Bye bye, Medgos. You look cool from the outside. Not so much on the. <laughs> I thought there was supposed to be another one. Should have been unlocked by now. Maybe not. Because I remember there's, I think there's one called Gorgon. Oh, They're all named after mythological stuff. Patashi! Oh. Sun blasted terrestrial world whose atmosphere was blasted away millennia <laughs> ago <laughs> by the star. Got some Samarium. Let's check this. Nope. Oh, we'll come back to Tuntau. That's a landable. The Binoc. Let's see, anything interesting? Hmm, one hemisphere of the Binoc is covered by surface deposits of oxidized copper. Approximately 270 years ago, a Turian uh, bulk gas transport was attacked by pirates in the Phoenix system. Damaged, it made a rough landing on Bebenok. The heat of the landing melted significant quantities of surface ice and ruptured shipping containers spilled LOX locks across the surface. Before this evaporated and escaped Vebinox's weak gravity, it reacted to cause the widespread rust. Wow. Whoa. Oh, rust world. Neat. Um, I know there was one we skipped over. That's Tuntau. Is it this one? Yeah. Silsato. Silsalto. It has no remarkable features. Well, nah, bummer. Darn. To Tuntau we go then. This place looks neat. Me pitching myself on a dating app. It has no remarkable features. <laughs> uh, Tuntau is an enormous, low density terrestrial planet with a thick atmosphere of methane and helium. Despite being nearly 20 AU from Phoenix. The star's great the star's great heat and the encapsulating thickness of the atmosphere makes the surface surprisingly temperate. The crust is sorry, mainly sorry. composed of sodium <laughs> and silicon dioxide with deposits of various light metals. While Tuntau is not habitable, the relative pleasantness of the surface conditions make it a popular location for small ships traveling through the Argos Row cluster to land for drive discharge. Let's go. Interesting. Mm. Mm. Ah. Well, we need Rex for this one. We can take whoever else we want. Uh, let's see. Let's take... Liara. Alright. I don't know if the mic's picking up the yowling off in the background. No, not at all. Uh, or maybe I can't hear it over the, the game or audio. The game, yeah. Hidden structure. Anomaly. Well, you know what? Let's loop. Let's loop. God. 
getting around because I know it's a pain getting around this thing. We should get it over with. Or get up on it. Whatever we need to do. Whatever needs to happen. Climb, little Mako. <laughs> Climb. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Woo, look at that. Woo. Wow. Neat. Well, hey, whoa. That looks like a weird Prothean pyramid thing. Right. We. Let's see here. Oh. Well, something unpleasant happened there. On to the pyramid. Everyone up. Anything here? Oh, nothing here. This one don't got mm. nothing. It's just weird. weird and here. That's really weird. It's really strange. I'm gonna double check. Is there anything in this wreckage? Yeah, good idea, just in case. How we doing over here? <laughs> huh. Ooh, an Asari capsule. Got it. More of Major nice. Dillanaga's writings. Let's get moving. Oh, I'm working on Rex. <laughs> I'm working on it. Booj. Booj, booj. So I, I bought myself, this is completely random, I bought myself some Lacroix. Because it's nice. you know, cheaper than some other water things I like. But it's uh. it's just like, the cans are just so much smaller. Oh yeah. I'm just like, I'm like, I'm gonna blow through this whole thing in like, two days. Like, come on. Uh. Whoops. Oop. Rock. I feel like, it's, um... I don't know, like, sparkling water has, like, a weird, there's, like, a weird taste to it. Mm-hmm. That, so, like, no matter what flavor it is, it all has, like, this weird sparkling water taste. Oh. So, I, I don't know. I just can't, I can't, can't do get it. into it. No. It's too bad, because, like, it all sounds delicious. Right, <laughs> but right, right. I try I mean, it, and I'm like, ah. I, I do desperately miss brands like Wilkinson, because they were just so much more strong, and with the, with the fizzies. Right. Did it. Um, cause like fizzy water here is, is a joke. Uh, right. most of the time. Unless you buy just straight up tonic water, which I do like tonic Ooh. water, but. What do you think of, uh, Clearly Canadian? I like it. It's alright. Like, that was something I drank as a child. Mm -hmm. And loved. Mm -hmm. Um. And then I had no idea. I had like heard that it was it had been brought back at some point. Uh huh. And then um, uh, one one time I was just shopping at the store, and my mom was like, "I think I'll get some clearly Canadian today." I was like, "What? It's been at my store all this time." All this time. What? And I yeah, so I got some and tried it. Yeah, it's good. I mean, I feel like the bottles are a lot smaller, but maybe mm -hmm. it's because I'm a lot bigger. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Um, like you're, you're but, like, man, this isn't this this helping ain't much, right? Um, but it, you know, they t still tasted really good. The mm -hmm. peach one is still my favorite. Mm -mm. Um, that doesn't taste like sparkling water to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, it doesn't have like a weird aftertaste. Uh -huh. Maybe it's just the ones that have. Maybe, you know, I would. Maybe it's just the sweetener in the sparkling water sometimes. Oh, could like, be. Could be. Could be. Because, like, like, I don't, I don't, I don't usually don't drink ones that have any kind of sweetener. Oh, the exception right, exactly. is the, um, I do drink Liquid Death, which uses agave. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh, that sounds good. Um, as their sweetener. See, okay, that would be better, because, like, yeah, I don't know. Or at least I should say that before returning to the States, I never drank ones that had sweetener. <laughs> Right, right. But now that I'm here, I think just about everything has to be known. Yeah, true. Well, yeah, and then the clearly, clearly Canadians, they're basically just soda. Like, mm -hmm. 
they're water, but they have as much calories as soda. Mm. <laughs> so I think that's why... I, I don't know. Yeah, it must just be the sweetener flavor, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Combined with the sparkling water, that just It's also possible, because like, I, I know there's different ways to like, carbonate that water. Maybe right. there's, there might be like some like weird aftertaste that some people pick up on more based on that. Would that would make sense to me as well if that was the case. Whee! Alright, I see dots at this hidden structure that's on our map. What's up everybody? I have a missile launcher! Boom! <laughs> nice. Alright. There's literally- that got all of them. Oh my god. <laughs> This is awesome. <laughs> okay, and I didn't I didn't block I didn't block the door, guys. Are you proud of me? <laughs> right. Are you proud of me? I didn't you can actually I get didn't, inside. I didn't block the door. Go me. Go Lisa Shepard. You did it. You didn't okay part. This is the place. Oh. My armor's here somewhere. Don't 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 worry about the fact that he there's no possible way he would know that because he specifically said he didn't know where it was. Don't worry about it. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. I'm here to get my friend's armor back. Excuse me, I forgot to bury you up. Why did you not shoot? Sorry, Liara. I'm like shooting through. Yeah. Thank you for ducking, Rex. you in the face. Come here, you. Punch. What is happening with y'all's health? What is happening? <laughs> that is not normal. That is not normal. <laughs> Give me that. <gasps> Description too low. We have so much stuff. It's fine. Would you like to run? Thank you. Like trying to hold down the button. Meow. All right. Any more crates? Just a fuel tank. Damn. Wish I'd been able to see that from below. Can't open that. That's weird. Okay. All right, let's go. I see the exclamation point. What? The wall safe. No. What do you mean we can't open it? Hang on. Damn it. Y'all. Y'all. Hang on. Yara. Oh, you only have electronics. We're gonna have to come back. Whoops. We're gonna have to come back. Whoops. We should have brought. It's okay. Somebody I else. didn't realize. I didn't think it was locked. I didn't think it was a locked thing. I thought it was just. Right. In a box. Okay. Hang on. Should the enemies respawn? No. Oh, that's good. No. You, you don't... I mean, like, if you leave and come back. Yeah, I. No. Okay. That's good. No, the zone is done. We just have to. Jump off planet, jump back on real quick. And technically, where we dropped is closer to the hidden structure, so that's fine. Do do. Cool. Oh, I take a second. Lyra's like, what happens? Like, uh -huh. nothing, honey. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's my B. I uh, I didn't realize. We'll just bring the dream team. Make it easy. <laughs> What do you mean, make another make another pass? Joker's like, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Okay, it was like right, yeah, it's like right here. We we took the long way around to, to get all the stuff. It's right here. 
Whoa. Yeah, I don't know. I think I, I, I started drinking so much fizzy water, especially the Wilkinson's, because, yeah, I would crave the fizziness. Less so the sweetness, because right. I don't have as much of a sweet tooth, but I would, like, crave the, the like, flavorful bubbles from, mm -hmm. from, like, soda, and that's part of why I, like, started drinking so much fizzy water, just because, you know, I'm like, well, it's not that I dislike soda, I just, I actually, my body don't like it when I drink too much. Right, right. Well, that's good. Your body is good to you. I mean, by by doing that, <laughs> you know, it's protecting you. There's like one random dude that that like, I guess yeah. was. Oh no, it's it's the dude. He just didn't spawn in last time. Oh wow, weird. that's really funny. Can I just punch him in the back of the head. What is happening? He's like a magic pixel. Okay, you guys got him. You got him. You got him. You got him. All right, good job, boys. He just didn't spawn in. I was like, hey, yeah, that's weird. Just leave the well, that worked out. Do do. Wait. This is it. Okay, yeah. I can't believe my ancestors ever wore this piece of crap, but at least I uh, got it back. That's great, Rex. I'm glad we could help you get it back. I might just be starting to like you, Shepard. Thanks, Rex. <laughs> Rex touches his grandfather's armor. His expression, thoughtful, perhaps? Krogan are hard to read. Then he shakes off his bemusement and grips his gun with renewed purpose. Time to move on. Yay. So now I believe we have completed. So, like, the encounter with Benezia is the closest thing that Liara gets to having, like, a character quest. Oh, okay, kind of like great. how Ashley and with Ashley and Caden, it's the same thing. It's just somebody you talk to. That, mm -hmm. you know, you get unique dialogue and they don't, it's not really, it doesn't really count as a character quest. But we have officially done all of our pals' quests. They're all wow. done. Nice. Taken care of. <laughs> the world really needed to load in there. <laughs> the world was like, hang on, give me a second. I, I feel that way sometimes when I get up in the morning and I just can't get myself up. I feel like my textures aren't popping in. I just like I can't get <laughs> right. I can't get my textures to fucking pop in.